Is the iPhone SE first generation worth it in 2022? Let's find out. Hey y'all, it's TechM slash K and we're back with another video. SE, special edition, speed edition. The first gen SE is literally a 6S inside of a 5S body. The design is still iconic today. It still has the beloved Touch ID, which I think is better than Face ID. Still has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Compared to the phablets of today, the screen size is very small and not the best for media consumption compared to like the 13 Pro Max. However, the SE is still pretty speedy. So the first generation SE is still pretty snappy and all the buns are functional with its aluminum casing still holding up. So pretty decent build quality. Moving on to the battery. The battery is at 95% total capacity, so it still holds a charge. But for heavy users of their phones, this phone isn't gonna last you very long, as the screen time is around maybe two to three hours of screen on time. So expect to bring a battery pack or something to juice up along the day. In terms of software, the iPhone SE first generation is still running iOS 15.41 one of the more updated versions. So with the latest iOS update, it can run apps smoothly and compatibly. Here's a quick test of the screen, as well as the audio quality from the speaker at mid volume. Overall, priced at under $100 for the first gen SE, it provides decent build quality, touch ID, and a lot of hardware options like 3.5mm headphone jack. And it is on the latest software update, so it could run many apps. However, the battery quality isn't that great and the media consumption as well, but the iPhone SE is still great value for people looking for a minimal smartphone option. What are your thoughts on the iPhone SE first generation? Let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and as always, like and consider subscribing. It's free. MK, we out.